everyone. I'm Jennifer and this is April and we're here again today at this pond. But last time we were here, we walked around the pond to see what exactly was growing in the pond, what needed maintenance. We pulled some of the, the nuisance plants out of the pond. Today, now we're going to be replacing those with native plants. We have a few plants here today. April, let's see what we're going to be planting. Okay. The first plant we have here this one is blue flag iris and you can kind of see the fan shape of the plant this plant we're going to be planting in the water okay. this will act as a good filter we're also going to be facing the fan towards the shoreline to help slow down the flow of water as it goes in to help slow it down let any pollutants um, settle out of the the water and the plant will absorb some of those pollutants as well okay so this is blue flag iris it's going to have a nice pretty purple bluish uh, flower to it Oh, what's that? This plant is called duck potato. And you can see the leaves have kind of a lance-shaped leaf there. It's also going to have a nice uh, white flower with three petals to it. This is another one that we're going to be planting in the pond. Um, and this one, you can see, grows kind of a, you know, kind of a somewhat fan shape as well. But it has more of a curve to it than that blue flag iris does. plants we're going to be planting. This is called soft rush. We already have that in the pond. That was one of the plants that we saw when we walked around the pond right. last time. And this one just uh, has very pointy tips to it, so we'll have to be careful when we're planting it, make sure we don't, um, you know, poke ourselves at all. And this one has a small brown flower to it. And this one uh, will be great in the, in the water uh, to act as a filter. plants that we have that we're going to be planting right on the water's edge. This plant is called swamp hibiscus and you guys are probably familiar with hibiscus plants. This one will have a nice red hibiscus uh, flower to it. So this one's a, a unique one for, for the pond. The final plant that we have here, this is called uh, cord grass. And this cord grass, you can kind of feel the uh, the leaves to it, they kind of stick to you. Mm -hmm. and that's one way you can kind of uh, distinguish this, this plant from the rest of the ones that we're planting. Okay. This one we're not going to be planting in the water, we're going to be planting a little bit higher on the, the shoreline. And this one's great for uh, controlling erosion. So we're going to end up planting that to help prevent any erosion around, around the pond. Um, and, and erosion just means any soil basically washing away um, with any flow of water into the pond. So this will the roots will help stabilize the soil. So the plants that we picked, we're going to be planting about 400 plants today. Typically it takes maybe about a couple hours to do a planting. And the plants that we chose were based on um, plants that we thought would do well in the pond. Last time we were here, you guys might remember we saw some apple snails, those little pink uh, eggs that we saw. Those are the apple snail eggs. And those apple snails like to eat plants. So the plants that we chose are plants that we think will do well in the pond, even though the apple snails are there. These are kind of less favorable plants for them. So we'll see how these do. So come along and we're gonna head out and plant. We're gonna be using uh, just a, um, a pointed tip uh, shovel here. That's basically the tool, tool of choice today. April. We're going to be planting the blue flag iris. We're going to be planting them a little bit above the normal water line. Okay. So the technique that we use that tends to, to work well with this is by putting the shovel into the ground. So we're going to push it into the ground. Should I go about here? Should we separate yep. them? Yep. Yeah, we're going to be staggering them along. So yeah, you can do it as well. We're going to be pushing the handle of the shovel forward and you're going to notice there's going to be a gap that forms right behind the blade of the shovel. We're just going to stick the plant right into that little gap. You pull the shovel out and you can pat down the soil right around it. And there you go, it's planted. How'd it go for you? Went all right. It's it's pretty easy. It out. Yep. yep, yep, looks good. So we're going to be staggering them all in this area. We don't want to just keep lining them up. 
because it'll look unnatural. So it'll fill in better if we just stagger it along here. As they grow, they'll fill in all the gaps. And we're gonna be spacing them about a foot apart or maybe at the, the smallest uh, shovel distance away from each other. So we're gonna do that in that staggered pattern. We're gonna keep all the same types of plants clumped together just because it'll be a lot more showy that way and it'll also be better for, uh, for um, animals and being able to, to hide in these areas as well. So right. let's keep going. We just finished planting all of the 400 plants in the pond. We planted a variety of plants in here. Like I said, um, we had several different uh, types of plants. We planted in some of the more shady or part sun areas, we planted some of the blue flag iris. And again, they were a little bit higher on the shoreline. You can see the water level is a little bit lower than normal. Um, so that's why all the plants right now are out of the water. We already had soft rush in the pond, so we planted a little bit more around in that area. We planted the cord grass. Remember, that's very good for erosion control. And we have that little hill um, out in the pond that has a tendency to have a little bit of erosion, so we put the cord grass there to help prevent further erosion in that area. All right, well, how do you think everything went for the planting today? Um, I think it went pretty good. I've got a little bit of dirt on us, but you know, that's no big deal. And hopefully we can have a lot of these plants survive till next time we're here. Yeah, definitely. We'll see you next time and maybe we'll be able to show you uh, some of these pretty blooms on the plants. See ya.